Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can create a custom color scheme to use within your publication. To create your own custom color scheme, click the More button in the lower right corner of the Schemes group on the Page Design tab in the ribbon. So we'll click the Page Design tab, and here we have our Schemes group over here. And you'll see the various schemes up here just above that. Now you can use the arrows to scroll down and see all those schemes. And just below that, it's not labeled, but if you hold your mouse pointer over it, you'll see that that's the More button right there. Give that a click. When you do that, you'll see a full list of all the built-in schemes that come with the publisher application. What we want to do is go to the bottom and select Create New Color Scheme. Give that a click. And that will open the Create New Color Scheme dialog box that we see here. In this dialog box, you click the color drop-down button next to each color cube for each category shown in the Scheme Colors section on the left. And you select a color for those publication elements. Right now the main color selected is black. We'll leave it as such. Maybe you want to change the accent color. So we'll use that drop-down, and we're under the New category here. Remember, you can click on one of these standard colors, or you can click More Colors. We've looked at this before. And you could click on the Standard tab to select a standard color, or go to Custom. And you can click into here and select a custom color like that, or if you're trying to match an exact color, maybe your company color or something like that, and you know the exact RGB values, you could enter those down here into those text boxes, or you could change it to CMYK if you're going to professionally print it. Make your selection, click OK. You could repeat the process for all the accents. Perhaps you want to change the hyperlink color and the followed hyperlink color to a darker green. Click OK. And when you're done, you can then assign a name in the Name text box right here. We'll just call this TUC for TeachUComp for right now. And then you can click Save. When you do that, the custom color scheme will then appear as a selection within the Schemes group on the Page Design tab within the ribbon. We'll see it right here. And you can then click on it to apply it to your publications. So for example, we could go back to the File tab, and we could click New. And we'll scroll down and we'll select, let's say, Newsletters, for example. And we'll give that one a click and download it. And this comes, of course, because it's a template with its own set of colors. What we're going to do, once this is completed downloading, is we'll assign our new custom color scheme to this particular publication. So once it's completely downloaded, we'll go back to the Page Design tab, give that a click, and you can, again, scroll down if you want to find it, or you can click on More, and then we want to locate our TUC one that we made, and that'll be up at the top here under Custom. See, the rest are built-in and built-in classic. So we can give that a click, and that will automatically assign our custom color scheme to our publication down here. Now, to edit a custom color scheme that we've created, and that's in that group, what you do is you right-click on it, and then say, Edit Scheme, by giving that a left click. And that will open the Edit Color Scheme dialog box that we see here. Now this looks exactly the same as a Create New Color Scheme dialog box. Same idea, you can go in and make your edits however you choose, and then click Save. Once you've done that, you might want to delete a custom color scheme. And to do that, you just right click on it, and then choose Delete Scheme instead. When you do that, Publisher is going to prompt you, are you sure you want to delete this color scheme? And you can say yes, and it will delete that custom color scheme from the choices available up here. 
You can apply different schemes if you like very easily, the pre-installed ones. If you roll your mouse pointer over it, you'll see the changes and what they would look like. Again, we can click more and then just click one to apply it if you like. So you can have a lot of fun with those different schemes that are available and creating your own custom color schemes as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.